Ahoy there! Welcome to the Whammycast. I be Captain Fakebeard, and I'm here to find a treasure. Arr, but these landlubbers be getting in my way. But I be grand, because I ain't having to go back to the beyond the black stump. An old man at a tavern gave me this treasure map. As you can see by this clearly blinking treasure chest icon, that there is where I need to go. Arr, I can't see anything. Arr, that's much better. Am I at least facing the right I'm facing the completely wrong direction. I'll blow you to Davy Jones' locker. Your tin shields do nothing against my explosive boomerangs. Avast there! I see the treasure chest. Arr, I got a speaker inside it. It'd be a decoy. Bye. Anchor-shaped rock will give ye pleasure. Ah, it'd be one of them rhyme treasure hunts. All right, where's the anchor-shaped rock? Let me look at the, the refer to the map. Ah, here we are. I need to sail that way, that way. Aye, we be close now. A vast ye landlubber. Old Island is home to the very next clue. So hurry on up is what she must do. Arr, I see that be on Bald Island. The problem being, there's lots of islands here that look like that. Luckily, I have the treasure. Ah, it's right next to me. Is this it here? It can't be that simple. Arr, but I think it is. Here we are. Ah, I skipped the clue. I didn't mean to do that. Yo ho ho. Deep underwater is where he must go. To a shipwreck called Janie to see the next show. I can see the shipwreck from here. The treasure is just within our reach. From island to island, you glided, jumped, and swam. Now return to the start to see where I am. Arr, we get to meet our legendary pirate. You found Wedgwood's treasure. Aye. You've searched far and wide, you landlubber ye. Now here be me treasure, so go, let me be. Ooh, well one thing's for certain. Yeah, what's that? Wedgwood was a pirate, not a poet. Yeah, had a boat and couldn't row it. Well look at that, a thunder egg. Who would have guessed? Yo little ripper! Ah I found Wedgwood's treasure. There's all kinds of other opportunities here. There's ancient pirate treasures scattered all around these isles. And I, Captain Fakebeard, intend to find each and every one of them. El and I have been looking for treasure. Bonza! We've discovered the secret location of Parrotbeard's long lost booty. It's inside this cave, but there's a problem. What sort of problem? A big eight-legged one. Eight legs? Oh, no! Oh, I hate spiders. Well, you're in luck, doll. It's a giant octopus. I would be like in the, the entrance to Moria, Lord of the Rings. Captain Fakebeard's log, March 2017. I have stumbled on Parrotbeard's ancient pirate treasure. The only problem being there's a giant eight-legged octopus guard in it. But this will not stop the infamous Captain Fakebeard. I will find a way to get to that treasure. Although it might cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> ah, take that, you eight legged beast. Oh, do I be up the boomerangs? All right. Ooh, I've never seen a treasure so fine in all my years. I probably shouldn't throw both of the rings at the same time. That's how I run out of things to throw at them. Ah, take that, you eight legged beast. You're up, Rex. Get what you can and get out of there. Arr. Ye be too fast for him. Arr. Golden doubloons, rubies, diamonds, jeweled goblets. Anything a pirate could possibly need to make his fortune. Arr. Bonza, mate. You kept that giant octopus off our back. I couldn't have done it without you, doll. So here's your share. Wicked! Another fabulous moment in the grand history of Captain Fakebeard. <laughs> I never done a time attack on recording before. I might as well give it a try. What are your legs? 
Steel flippers. What are they gonna do? Hurl me through the water. I hope. Ho <laughs> ho, let's race. I can't keep up with him. Ah, oh, but I'm faster than him on land. It's his weakness. I feel like I missed one, but I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> I guess I didn't miss one after all. Part of me wants to look behind me and see where he is, but it'll slow me down. Where are ya? Oh, he's way behind! He'd be way behind! Ah! I can't even see where he is now. Oh, I've got this in the bag. Aye, victory well, belongs to Captain Fakebeard. I remember this mission. We might be entering into a bit of skirmishing, me laddies. Those frills drive me nuts. Aye. They have been tearing around the neighborhood for the last week, causing all sorts of strife. If you can make them stop, I've got a present for you. Okay, it's a deal. Oi, you landlubbers! What do you think of that? <laughs> Nothing can stop the Kaboomerang! Except he might be too bad. I got him! Ah, true captain going down with the ship. At least I can respect ye for that. Avast there. What's this? A golden cog on a random stump in the middle of an island. But here we have the plants that send you flying through the air. But one of them, only one of them, will get me to where I need to go. The others will send me flying someplace I don't want to be. So, I better guess the right one. Right. I'm gonna guess the one on the right! Ha <laughs> ha! I was wrong. Well, at least it didn't send me too far. I can try again. Well, I be left-handed, so I'll try the one on the left now. I missed. Why? No! Alright, I guess I'll try the one in the middle then. Ah, right on the mark! I've discovered a cave in the side of the cliff. Ah, I see traps. Could this... Could these traps have been laid by another pirate? To guard his treasure? Oh, it's a volcanic island. Ah, I missed me jump. If I could only get past these traps without hurting myself. I hit someone with that. Ah, I hurt myself. Ah, I missed me jump again. One day I will get this right, I promise. I swear, by me beard, I will get through this. I I can just <laughs> I can just walk around. Almost. <laughs> it's offering me the 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 Titan monster thing, whatever it is. But I don't need it as long as I have these. Hi. <laughs> ah, oh, you have to be smart about it. No wonder I failed the first time. It's getting hot in here. I think I made it. Wait, this can't be where I came from. Oh, I'd best be careful if I mess this part up. I'm going to punch myself in the face. I more treasure for Captain Fakebeard. Arr, I'm on it. Launch me up there. Ah, it was too slow. I gotta be quicker next time. All right, I be ready. Arr, launch me up quick. Ooh. Ah, curse it, curse be it. Avast there. I now I can free me Bilby friend. I must be ready to glide over there. I cannot possibly mess this up. This is it. Oh! I How many how many have I found? Oh, I've still got three more of them to find. Ah, pirate's work is never done. Hi, laddies. There only be five more golden cogs in this level. I'll search all the aisles until I find them. Ah! I found one already! 
If anyone ever fires explosive weapons at you, be sure to take shelter in a straw hut. It'll save your life. At last I have discovered the location of another golden cog. Soon it will be mine. Ah, I fell off the me platform. Get me back on, get me back on, click. Oh, this might take a minute. I see the other Bilby over there between the two cliffs. Ah. Ah. I'm just waiting for the platform to get here so I can jump to it. And then jump to the next one. And then finally, the golden cog will be mine. I am bad at this, holy cow. One down, only two more to go. The problem is, I got out about five minutes of me waiting for that one. It was worth a try. No! Oh! Oh, well, no, I had it! What happened? Alright, now all I need to do is wait for the other platforms and hope that that does not happen again. This is it. This is the time I get that golden cog. I feel it. Ah, I've cut out about 10 minutes of me trying to do this. Ah. I, whoever hid this treasure knew what they were doing. Any other pirate would have given up by now, but not me. Not pirate fake beard. No! Oh! I, at long last, it's mine. I only have one more to find now. And don't think I've forgotten about me, Bilby friend. Oh, I see it. At last it is mine. Oh no, this does not look good. Alas, I may have blown myself up, but I don't care because now I have all the golden cogs in this level. Ah, another glorious moment in the grand history of Captain Fakebeard. Oh, well, that went pretty well. I'm not doing the pirate anymore because, for well, for a few reasons. First of all, it kills my voice to do that. Um, secondly, uh, that beard was making me really hot, so. Um, I should probably have enough, uh, yes, I do have enough uh, thunder eggs to go to the next boss. But before I do, I'm going to go see if I can get a new boomerang, because I did work really hard to find those golden cogs, and hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh, what the heck. Alright, let's see what we can find. Let's see what boomerang those golden cogs have unlocked for me. Oh, die. You get it, the <laughs> oh gosh. The golden cogs. Excellent work, my boy. <clears throat> let's see what we get this time. Oh my! I haven't seen one of these before. Have I ever gotten this? It's a chrono <gasps> Okay, the reason I'm freaking out is because I have never actually gotten this before. I have wondered what this has done- oh gosh. I've got the, the, the beard still in my face. I have wondered, I have wondered what this does ever since I was a kid. I've never actually gotten this before. Getting that one golden cog on all those stupid floating platforms, it's worth it now, now that I have this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this slows him down. Ah, oh, dude. Holy crap. I mean, it's not my favorite boomerang. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overact it. It's not my favorite, and, um, but it's still cool by concept, and it's amazing because I've never actually gotten one of these before. I imagine this works on all different kinds of en enemies, not just the, uh, not just the kind that you can hit. Actually, it's not just that I've never even got this before. I've never even seen this before. I've never even seen what it does, or even what it looks like. Alright. Come here, but- oh my- ah! Oh, they're still gross. They're still gross, though. Now you can see how gross they are in slow motion. Ah. Uh. Ah! Uh. Oh, get away from me! 
Okay, so it's still not my favorite. I think the Megarang and Kaboomerang are still my two favorites, but it's still really cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, if I never see one of those platforms again, it'll be too soon. Oh my gosh. You can see the rage in my eyes. Oh, that's a cool one. Okay, here we go. Fluffy's... Oh gosh. Can I just, uh... Oh gosh. Oh no, do I use the Flamerang on those? I think I might use... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What do I do with... Oh, oh, oh! I think I see something. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing all my boomerangs at him. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, man. It's very terrifying. What do I, what, how do I do this? I can't even remember how to do this. I don't want to have to look up a walkthrough. A few moments later. Okay, so I just looked this up. I didn't want to have to. But apparently, what I have to do is not get crushed to death, line myself up with this, and throw a flame- Ah, there we go. Throw a flame ring through that, through the fire, then the flames. And that will empower it with more flame power. And then eventually he'll sink into the ice, and then I'll have to hit his head with a frosty ring. Oh gosh. While still also trying not to get crushed to death as well. Oh gosh. I should have figured that out. Why did I not figure that out? Ah, I'm getting closer. There we go. Okay, frosty ring. Ah! Oh, that's right. It's some. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. I have to say, I am impressed. The boss cast is gonna be peeved. You know, if things were different, we could have been a team. I see you have retrieved the third talisman. Do not become complacent in your quest. There is still much danger ahead. Well, I have to admit it. You're not doing such a bad job, mate. Well, adequate, maybe, but, 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 but not bad. Now, Julius is waiting for you back at his lab. I think he's got a new gadget for you. Bonza! These lightning thunder eggs are simply fascinating. Why? Is this so? Simply, they produce even more energy than all the other eggs combined. Alright, this is a pretty cool one. Now, this doesn't just electrocute your enemies, but it also powers machines, which is really cool. Like, oh gosh. Oh, cutscene. Fool! Did you take care of our little problem? I tried, but, um, he's stronger than I thought. He's stronger than you thought. How hard can it be? He's just a little orange rat. He has friends. The bunyips are helping him. What? <laughs> then the stakes have been raised. To take over the world, I must have those talismans. I need them to open the portal to the dream time so I can banish all those annoying warm-blooded mammals once and for all. Present company accepted, of course. Well, if our orange friend is so intent on finding the talismans, then I say, let him. My metal menace here will take care of him and steal back the talismans to boot. <laughs> it's so simple, it's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, I think this does just instantaneously... <laughs> I think this is just an instant takeout on all enemies. Okay, maybe not all enemies. Yeah, you know what? Ah, there we go. Much better. Ah, I can always count on explosions to do the job. <laughs> ah. Now, this is actually the final level of the entire game. I think it is, anyway. But, uh, either way, I'm gonna end this video right here. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. If you liked it, please click the like button. And if you like the Whammy Cast, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching, I am A, and I will see you next time. Bye! As you can see, I am ready for battle. My cannon fodder has actually taken out quite a bit of their army. The peasants are the unsung heroes of civilization.
Do we need to park this exactly where the other one's parked? Excuse me! <laughs> I have stumbled on Captain Pirate. <laughs>